today's video on Madden 22, we had some of the most bizarre moments I have ever seen. I still trust her. Oh my god. Way too good. And he's hit it. And he's 80 overall. Bang! Bang, baby. Oh! This guy is literally almost the GOAT already. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, things got crazy later on. So if you do end up enjoying this video and you were hooked, you were in the right place, consider subscribing to the channel, please, as it would help me out a ton. And it would help me grow because we are going all in this year and more content like this is to come. Also, thank you for 1,300 subs. You guys are the best. Enjoy the video. Yo, my name is Pumvongsa. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today, we got another realistic reboot and we got the Pittsburgh Steelers because... Somebody left it down in the comment section below. If you guys want me to do a team, leave a team down below in the one that received the most likes, comments, all the love I'll be doing right after this, man. So the Steelers, obviously it is the end of an era for Big Ben. This is probably going to be his last season. However, they have one of, if not the best defenses in the league. So no matter what the QB situation may be in this Revo, that defense alone should be able to give us a few W. So it should be fun. Now, I just want to say thank you for all the love on my first two rebuilds of Madden 22. You guys have been killing it with the like goes, the views, all that good stuff and to all of you newcomers welcome to the channel my guys this one should be fun though i'm asking for 120 likes because i'm striving to post every two days in new realistic rebuilds and these take a lot of time to edit and by the way if you see this on uh, august 18th on wednesday um i stayed up all night editing this so show me some love i'm just asking for 120 likes that would be amazing, man. Let's go check out the team. 77 overall squad here, 75 offense, and of course, that 81 defense. And at quarterback, like I said earlier, the end of an era, and he's, uh, he's normal development now. Ben Roethlisberger. 39 years old now, and it's very apparent this is probably going to be his last season. He's pretty much got one foot out the door already, let's be real. But I'm very excited for the future of this reboot to see if we can get that new franchise quarterback. And if he can live up to any sort of resemblance that Big Ben was able to do in Pittsburgh, then I'll be happy. But oh man, how about their first round pick, Najee Harris? Where is his face? I don't know. But Najee Harris was, in my opinion, the best running back in this class and the jack of all trades type guy, man. He is so good coming out the backfield and should help out this team massively considering they were dead last in rushing yards last season. So Najee should be fantastic. And of course, on Madden's 22, the running backs are just insane. So hopefully I can get Najee to that crazy, crazy enough level where we get him to X Factor and he can go just wild for us in this rebuild. The Steelers are also like a wide receiver factory, man. You got Juju Smith-Schuster here. Shout out to Corvette Corvette. We got Chase Claypool who was a beast last season in his rookie year. That dude was an animal. And then we also got Deontay Johnson. And well, I feel like is incredibly underrated and could really break out this season. Deontay Johnson's the real deal, man. And James Washington as your wide receiver for also really good, man. Tight ends, we've got Eric Ebron, who's always going to be solid, always going to be consistent. And then they drafted Pat Fryermuth as well this season, who hopefully can grow into himself uh, later throughout the years. Offensive line, what happened here? I don't really know. They lost to Castro. Pouncey, of course, retired. Villanueva's off to Baltimore now, I believe. So we have these three guys that on, on Madden are not too great, as you can see. But, you know, they could be something in real life. Green here, Okawara 4. They picked up Trey Turner. They did lose David DeCastro as well. Literally, it's a whole revamped O-line, which is crazy. And then Kevin Dawson, who's star dev as well. So, uh, shout out to my guy there. But now, let's go check out the defense, which we all know is incredible, man. Stephon it a 90 star dev. Alualu, who's kind of old now, but he's still 84. Should give us one good year. And then Cameron Hayward, one of the best in the league, man. 94 superstar. The dude's an animal. This defensive line is just tasty. Something that's not too tasty though. Cornerbacks, I'm not gonna lie. It's not too hot here. Joe Hayden's are number one. They lost, what, Steven Nelson and probably some others. Justin Lane, Cameron Sutton here, Mollet. Like, ah, it's, well, we gotta draft corners. But if this man's in your DB group, it's gonna be a good DB group. Minka Fitzpatrick, one of the best safeties in the league. He's an 89. He's a superstar. He's still extremely young as well. Minka is an animal man, and they it, it was a steal when they got him from the Dolphins. Terrell Edmonds is decent as well. He hasn't lived up too much to the hype, but he's solid. Another guy who's solid is TJ Watt. Devin Bush is here. No, I'm kidding. TJ Watt is phenomenal. Arguably the best edge rusher in the league. By the way, a 94 rating for him is quite disrespectful if I say so myself. TJ Watt is an animal and he's going to be a beast throughout this whole video. No doubt about that. Devin Bush is cool, but he's kind of weird on Twitter. Not going to lie. Spillane. And then they picked up Melvin Ingram this season. I mean, this pass rush duel is going to be disgusting. And another guy with high upside is High Smith. Alex Highsmith is a beast. Um, for the outgoing Bud Dupree, these two should be able to step in, in my opinion. Specialist section here. We got Deontay Johnson. 
Johnson in the slot. Let's rock him there. I know Juju is a beast in the slot as well, but I kind of want Deontay Johnson to go kind of crazy in this reboot. Hopefully, we can see him develop into, you know, a star in this league. Jalen Samuels, no. I'm making both of these. Not Why is he only a 68 third down back, by the way? Because he, he's a beast at catching the ball out the back. Najee Harris at power back as well. Amazing stuff. Justin Lane at slot cornerback is not really what you want to see. <laughs> but Melvin Ingram. Cameron Hayward, Stephon Tui, TJ Watt to round out this defensive line. My goodness, it is beautiful. And then Devin Bush at sub linebacker. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'll see you guys midseason. I'm not changing any of the schemes, any of the playbooks or all that good stuff. We're leaving it all the same here for the first season. Let's let it ride out. Let's see what Big Ben can do. Can he go out with a bang? We'll have to see. And we'll see that in one moment. Week 8 is here. We're 4-2. It's not bad. We're second in the division. The Ravens are six and one there, but I'm not mad at all about that. To be honest with you, I'll take I'll take four and two. And for these first batch of staff points we got, I think I'm gonna use them all on player growth because we want to see everybody develop super quickly. So I'm probably just gonna use it for all of these positions that we can do here. So I got plus 10% for experience on our offensive linemen, fullbacks and halfbacks, wide receivers, tight ends, quarterbacks as well, and then all players on your team count as scheme fits during training, so they get that extra XP boost as well, which is amazing. By by the way, in the next stop, I'm probably going to get we've seen enough just so we can see our hidden developments next season. I guess it kind of depends on who we get. If we can get like a quarterback or anything like that. But we still got 40 left. We got we got time to make some moves. We do have some contracts to go over though. And who? Oh, <laughs> um, I don't even want to look at anyone else. TJ Watt is here. Obviously, I want to bring TJ Watt back. Obviously, he's going to want a hefty sum of cash. And he's 100% worth it. TJ Watt, are you coming to Pittsburgh? He's welcomed back, of course. Melvin Ingram is also here, but he's also 32 years old. So I don't know if I'm going to bring him back. Juju. Juju's an interesting one, you know, because we got Claypool. We got James Washington. We got Deontay Johnson. Do I want to pay Juju Smith-Schuster? We'll have to see. I'm not sure. Eric Ebron? Honestly, I might let leave as well because we got Friar Myth now. You know what I mean? Mmm. We got some. Oh, James Washington's actually here too. You know, I can't look over Juju being 24 years old and an 85 overall already. He is a great player, uh, one of the best slot receivers in the league, and he is also really greedy. Trey Turner on a two year deal. Honestly, I'm kind of fine with that. I will offer that for him, and he's happy to stay. So that's a nice boost to our old line, of course. Troll Edmonds, another guy only 24 years old i think i'm gonna offer him a deal why not hopefully he can reach that upside that we all know he has and he's welcome to stay by the way some dude commented last video are you bald i'm not bald by the way as you can see here so i busted out the hair my hair is always messy i always like wearing the hat as well you know the hat's kind of iconic in the in the videos nowadays low low asteroid hat so i don't know i just always rock it It doesn't really matter to me though i'm not bald though <laughs> playoff though week 18 i was like em emphasizing it as it was week what am i saying as it was week 17 we actually made the playoffs 11 and 6 big ben looks like he did his thing we have all these things but of course let's go check out the top performers here tom brady is going crazy every single simulation patrick mahomes also got himself 52 touchdowns my goodness and trevor lawrence in his rookie season almost just put up 5k yards and 40 touchdowns oh my goodness zeke derrick henry nick chubb the usuals there mike evans leads the way for um receiving yards with michael thomas and Devonte adams khalil mack bradley chubb demarcus lawrence kind of sucks to not see dj or dj watt no tj watt in there but 17 in third place that's that's kind of a lot man fred warner six interceptions for him and then jayon brown leads the way for tackles made how did we look over here though 24th in offensive yards so it was to rash big ben Hey, can we go out of... Okay, our defense actually wasn't good either. 19th? This, <laughs> this defense is definitely top five in the league, like, at worst. Big Ben actually was... Really good, honestly. 4,100 yards for him, 28 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. I cannot complain about that at all, and he led us to the playoffs. Najee Harris, rookie season though, 1,350 yards, my goodness, 4.1 to carry, and 12 touchdowns for him, 0 fumbles as well. You know, Najee's a beast. He ain't losing the ball at all on 3-3-3 three, three, three attempts there for him. Deontay Johnson in the slot was... He was pretty good, 900 yards, 4 touchdowns, no one really went crazy, but everyone was really good, which is how it is here in Pittsburgh, Eric Ebron, 870 and 5 touchdowns, Juju, 850 and 6, Najee, almost 700 yards and then 7 touchdowns for him, Claypool was the one that really didn't do too much, oh, Robert Spillane led the way for tackles made and not like Devin Bush or someone, I don't know, <laughs> let's go ahead and check out the sack numbers though, see how we're looking over here, and it's not TJ Watt that leads the way. It's Melvin Ingram with 15. Oh my. Wait, where is TJ Watt at 8.5? Oh, come on now. Come on. Now. We had a ton of sacks, though. Obviously, what they got like the sack record going on in real life. This team gets a lot of sacks. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> 11 and a half for Cameron Hayward to it and TJ Watt with eight and a half. Their interceptions, how we look, and they get a lot of turnovers too. Joe Hayden with three, Devin Bush two, and Terrell Edmonds with two. Minka only had one. Weather the storm, trouble accelerating, changing directions, and reaching their normal top speed in the game day goal. 
beat the Patriots. Coach, you're heading into your first playoff game. Playoff success often makes or breaks a career. Um, guaranteed W. We're coming away with the win, man. Big Ben, I can feel it, man. I can really feel it. He's ending it off with a bang. Beat the Patriots. Um, guaranteeing win has fired up the Patriots, and they will have plus five break tackle and hit power. Oh. I chose the wrong one. That's on me. I was just confident in my team. Sorry for being confident. I don't really know. But we got the Patriots in the first round, as you can see. Probably Cam Newton. They go 10 and 7. So just a little bit below us. But of course, don't don't base it off the record. Base it off us winning this game right here. In 3, 2, 1, bang. We won. We won 34 20. I literally just like was staring at it and couldn't process it through my mind. But here we go. We got the Jaguars up next. They go 12 and 5. We have these to go over again. Hey, let's not overlook the fact that the Patriots got plus 5 and break tackle and whatever else it was hit power. And we still beat him. And that gets us 10 more staff points. We're at 176. I think I'll use those in the offseason and then maybe some for the draft. I got to save some for the draft as well, like afterwards. We got the Jaguars up next. They go 12 and 5. Trevor Lawrence obviously just had the best rookie quarterback seasons we've ever seen after Justin Herbert last season and after Baker Mayfield the year before. I don't know. We just lost 18-14. What the heck? Well, the Jaguars just made the Super Bowl, so they're absolutely going crazy in this simulation. It's cool to see, I guess. It's cool to see Ezekiel Elliott winning MVP. I don't know. We're getting Najee an MVP this video. I also need to get Colin Kaepernick out of this roster because I hate him being on the roster. Like, I want this to be Jalen Hurts if Jalen Hurts is going crazy, you know? Najee, number four for Offense Player of the Year. We'll take that. Hey, yo, he still beat out Trevor Lawrence though for rookie of the year wow that's actually amazing I did not I did not expect him to beat out Trevor Lawrence we'll take that all day we now got some development traits to go in ahead and look at Najee Harris of course comes out as superstar on this game he was hidden development before he's superstar which is fire I don't think we got anybody on offense but that's fine no one really went too crazy except Najee and he's already superstar Melvin Ingram definitely earned himself a superstar nod though and Terrell Edmonds Bro, Edmonds went up to star. I actually love that. And Joe Hayden, Mr. I Lift, went up to star as well. The Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers on the last dance beat out the Jaguars. 35-28 there in Super Bowl 2-something. I don't know. 56. And Melvin Ingram got decimated in rating to an 81 now. So as good as he was last season, there's no way I'd bring him back at that age. Juju Smith-Schuster, though, wants 67.4 mil now. What the? Look, Juju, I get you took a pay cut to stay here another season, but my God. God, now you're asking me for a lot. I'm bumping it up to 60.4. If we don't get Juju, he actually... Wow, I did not expect him to join us because that was like 7 mil under. Okay, Juju's not a greedy guy. <laughs> Everybody else, I'm going to let walk though, like Big Ben and some others. I don't even remember who else was there. Devontae Adams is always here and he never has a bid. Do I want him? No, not really. Jason Kelsey's here. Mitchell Schwartz, we could, we definitely need O-line help for sure. JC Jackson, we need cornerbacks too as well. So definitely some good options here. Eric Ebron was a guy I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe I could offer him a cheap deal. If we get him, we get him. Here's the people I want. JC Jackson would be amazing. I overpaid him a little bit. Not gonna lie, but he would be an amazing addition for us at an 87, 26 years old as well. Eric Ebron, I gave him a two-year deal instead of the four that he was wanting. If he uh, joins us back, I'd be happy, but if he doesn't, Pat Frymouth is here as well. Trey Herndon, Tim Settle, Morgan Moses, just guys that we need to um, plug in those positions. We did not get Tim Settle or JC Jackson. Okay. We got Trey Herndon and Morgan Moses. Are you actually kidding me? Well, I got Avante Maddox instead. I'll take it. Now, Eric Ebron rejected. However, it is now draft time. We have pick number 27. The Lions are the number one overall pick. Their Heisman winner. If it is a quarterback, I'd be... Uh Thank you. Looks okay, but the big thing, we need a quarterback. Is there a quarterback? Desmond McMichael out of Texas here is an early first round projected, but a late first round talent, which is not too great. There's actually nobody else really down there. There's no gems. They're all going in the first round here. This guy actually, this guy looks kind of insane. I'm not going to lie. Eugene James, you might be my guy. Early first round corner, Casey Thomas here is projected early fourth round. Holy, that's my guy. 100% sometime this draft. He will be on my team. Pick number 20. Seven moment of truth are any of the quarterbacks still there i'm hoping for it doesn't look like it bro it does not look like it all of the quarterbacks are gone i had to trade up for one huh and i probably should have but at the same time maybe we're trashed this season and they get an even better qb oh that's brutal that's brutal i should have traded up man all right so two new people added here on the drop were nick lucas who is a late first round um center and then emmanuel bass is an early first round edge and that would be tempting i'm not gonna lie bro like this guy is best player by far he looks unreal i just don't think it's as big as a need as offensive line will be especially for our future franchise quarterback next year we got to get the o-line situated right now as soon as possible so i'm gonna go with nick lucas man 
if he can be hidden, which he is, let's go, baby. That would be amazing. He's 74 overall, rank number 31 in the class. We get him at 27. We reached, unfortunately, but that's okay because Nick Lucas is hidden development at the end of the day, and he looks extremely well-rounded. He's going to be our starting something. I don't know. I can move him to right tackle, to be honest with you, because we got... Oh, we, we got Morgan Moses now, actually. Round number two, pick number 27. And as much as I would love to go with another center and just boost up that O-line even more, I think I'm going to play it safe here and make sure that we can get Casey Thomas right now because he is an early fourth. We don't want to risk it with 27th in the third round. This guy just looks phenomenal. Can be one of our best cornerbacks right away, especially... If he's hidden development, let's go, baby. He's number five in the class. We get him at 59. That's incredible value. And he's also 77 overall, the slot archetype out of Clemson there. Casey Thomas, my guy. Wow. Wow, does he look really, really good. Let's go, baby. Welcome to the team. Actually, who am I kidding? We got this right tackle later on. He's the last guy that we have here on our draft board. Projected to go early fifth. He's a late third round talent. He could be like 70 overall, to be honest with you. Nate Coleman could be our starting right tackle for the future because, bang, he's another hidden development. Holy, we just, got, we just went three for three. He's 69 rated, which is amazing as well. Right, number 90 great pick we get him at 91 welcome hey man not a bad draft that all our first three picks were all hidden development how could i complain about that we got this mason dude later who is a 69 and it's receiver later here's the quarterback i wanted he went at 23 we were pick number 27 went to the buccaneers to replace tom brady in the future eugene james is only normal though so i'm not mad at all about that and i think we saw charlie woody was definitely on my draft board as well he's only normal too really desmond mcmichael was the best quarterback in the class Okay, maybe it's a good thing we didn't go quarterback this year. I don't know. Oh my god, the highest rated guy in the class was an 82 cornerback who went at number 6. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's, uh, he's hidden. Of course he is. An 82 rated coming out at cornerback as well. He's only a star, which kind of sucks to be honest with you. But clearly his, um, his floor is insanely hot oh here's emmanuel bass who i could have went with instead of the center he went at number 30 he is 77 overall as well and he's also hitting a lot of hittings in this class besides the quarterbacks but thankfully for us we didn't go with it i actually have no idea who our quarterback even is right now um <laughs> just kind of going next season playing you want to see this guy am i kind of jealous a little bit. I'm praying our center can be um superstar, though. I'm going to use my staff points to try to figure out what he is right now. Reveal a hidden development trait for one player per season. Oh, God. His name is Nick Lucas, right? Or do I want to do the cornerback? Oh, now I'm, now I'm confused. <laughs> the cornerback was a higher overall. I'm going to go Nick Lucas, though. He was our first round pick. He's the guy we went with instead of Emmanuel Bass or whatever his name is, who was superstar. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to do slow rating possession nah, and nah. i'm gonna start to do these uh trading ones and contract ones because um we need some discounts in trade in case i need to trade up next season to get ourselves a quarterback because i definitely yeah i guess i didn't miss out this season on too much but i'm gonna do this for now i'm pretty much just gonna spend them all on these um i also forgot to do this i actually traded for joe schobert right i traded the six round pick and I forgot to make him a... <laughs> I forgot to make him a middle linebacker last season. That is on me. Of course, they traded for Joe Schobert in real life from the Jaguars for literally a six-round pick. I'm giving them a seventh now because I don't care anymore. Joe Schobert, get on my team. That could have helped us a lot. <laughs> could have helped us a lot last season. There we go. Six-round... Okay, it had to be a six-round pick, I guess. Joe Schobert, get on the team. And now let's go check out the team for year number two. I'm doing it like this because we got our center who's only a star. Should I have one with the edge? Maybe. Maybe, honestly. Ooh, he's only star. We're at 81 overall now, which is higher than what we were last season, I think. I don't know. A 77 um, offense, 87 defense. My goodness. Mason Rudolph has the keys this season. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness yeah we need a quarterback next season pat frymouth is starting now as well receivers look great Najee harris obviously great defensively joel schobert's here now i'm so sorry i forgot about that last season man that is on me didn't we draft a defensive tackle we did i'm gonna start him i'm also gonna play i'm gonna make thomas our literal number one because that's my boy they got me this guy thanks claypool in the slot this season i'm cool with that Najee, of course we got thomas at slot cornerback everything else here pretty much remains the mm, let me put Hayward here and then let me start Highsmith. Yeah, bang, that is all settled with Alex Highsmith is here. Then we also got Joe Schober to sub linebacker now. And bang again, we're two and five. What was I expecting with Mason Rudolph? I honestly don't know. We're two and five though, 
And you know what? It's not it's not the worst. It's not the worst because we do need a quarterback desperately <laughs> this season in the draft. Um, whoever it is, I just need somebody. They got to be better than Mason Rudolph, right? Minka's here. Definitely need Minka back. I don't even... Now let me get Minka. Minka, Minka, Minka. I'm upping it even a little bit more just for you, my guy. That's exactly what it wants. Let's go. Stephon Tewitt wants a two-year deal. And honestly, that's, that's perfect with me. He's 29 years old. He's obviously still amazing at a 90 overall. So he's going to remain at that great level. Deontay Johnson is here. Like I said earlier, I think Deontay Johnson... Johnson has a massive upside so he's a guy I definitely want I just clicked right bumper on accident my fault there oh they have his face now I did actually did not know that Deontay Johnson bang oh Okay. Devin Bush let's up this a little bit I don't know why I didn't bump up um Deontay Johnson's that's on me though Devin Bush is glad we got the deal done and they signed me Andy Dalton all right I guess I guess that's fine <laughs> we do have some hidden development traits to go over though of course we already saw our center and he unfortunately was only star should have taken that outside linebacker I don't know but the cornerback he's only star as well okay um that sucks didn't we have one more it was our right tackle right he's star as well okay three stars I mean you can't be too mad but dang seven and ten how are we not last in the division the Bengals what are you doing if you want to see the Bengals not be bad check out my last video Bengals realistic rebuild that one was pretty fun not gonna lie but onto this one again leaders top performers Patrick Mahomes of course again Cam Newton is in there don't tell me he's a semi god again bro he's actually third for yardage there rushing leaders is Chubb Henry and Barkley two of them getting over 2100 oh my goodness and Saquon at 25 touchdowns James Washington James Washington James, James Okay, I'm going through this quick, man. I didn't spoil any of the stats for me as well. I just want to see where this... Jesus, he's in Kansas City. I mean... Oh, maybe I should have signed him back. I don't know. But he does lead the league for yards, which kind of hurts. Galladay, Mike Evans in there as well. Miles Garrett, 19 sacks. Daniel Hunter and Dr Demarcus Lawrence again. And then Fred Warner leads the way for interceptions again. Actually tied with Farley and Kenny Moore. Isaiah Simmons leads the way for tackles. Now let's go check out my stats. The offensively, we were actually the same as last season, I believe, right? Weren't we 24th? Andy Dalton... Okay, yeah, next year we're changing playbooks because the Steelers won 8 in. I didn't change it this season as well because obviously we don't have a quarterback. So I just was like, why Why would we even care to win? Honestly, Dalton was Andy Dalton. I don't know. <laughs> Rushing-wise, Najee though? Najee, tw 24 touchdowns. Oh my goodness, rest in peace. But that is an amazing season. 4.6 a carry and almost 1,400 yards for him. Najee Harris, my guy, go crazy. Not... And he leads the way for... I've never seen that. He leads the way for receiving yards as well. That's crazy, bro. Oh my goodness. Claypool, Juju, and Deontay... Dude, that's actually wild. Um, these three, though, were okay. Again, Devin Bush, of course, leads the way for tackles made. TJ Watt, can I see like 37 sacks, please? TJ Watt, four, four and a half. I need to change this playbook. This playbook sucks. What the heck? Stephon Tewitt, 11. Highsmith, 9.5. Actually, you know, it was good last season. But what's TJ Watt doing? I don't know. He's getting he's getting triple teamed out there. Let's be real. Casey Thomas, though, the rookie corner, gets three. Troll Edmonds, also three. Avante Maddox, the new addition with uh, two. Yearly awards. Now, Najee, no, it goes to Camara. They go eight and nine. How does he win it? Najee's got to be in here, though, right? Yeah, he is number nine. Thomas, number three for defensive rookie of the year. Unfortunately, I was hoping he could win that. Honestly, best QB, Najee. Could he be in here? He's number two this time. He was three last year. Now, number two. Next season, you already know a number. Yeah. I don't want to see that guy's face, man. Development trait upgrades, though, offensively. Unfortunately, Najee does not go up to X-Factor again, but he is 93 overall, so that is fantastic. Do I expect anybody else? Nope. Defensively, though, maybe a little someone-someone. Maybe a little no one, no one. Yeah. Super Bowl winners are the Dallas Cowboys, 35-31 against the Browns. And these two teams pretty much play each other in the Super Bowl in every single uh, franchise mode you'll make. But we are back at contracts. And Deontay Johnson, I'm telling you right now, my guy, we're going to get you one of the best quarterbacks ever that's ever been seen coming out the draft. And he's happy to stay. He knows the future. Lane, Benny Snell, Morgan Moses, Cameron Sutton, and uh, Joe Schobert. Honestly, they can walk. We got a ton of money, though. 77 mil to... Quinn Nelson's here? Oh, Brian Burns, Terry McLaurin. Whoa, these are some cool names, bro. Brian Burns, Quick. I'm, I'm offering my life for Quinn Nelson. I have never seen him here ever, and he's obviously the best guard in the league. I would love to have him, man. Whoever our next quarterback might be, trust me, you're going to have a great O-line. I'm bumping up Quinn Nelson's deal. Literally, seven years as well, I'm bumping it up so much. 102 points, he's a 99 overall. That should put us in number one, and it does by a long margin. I want him, bro. I've never seen him here. Oh, my God. 
God, Scary Terry does not have a bid. I'm so tempted, but we have three good receivers. Like, I, ugh. Offers for Quinton Nelson that you saw. Brian Burns there as well, and then I can move to it or Hayward inside. If we can get Brian Burns, like this defense, come on now. Bryce Callahan would be amazing as well. He went up to Superstar, so he'd be pretty cool. Doesn't have a bid. And then Tony Pollard just says that uh, changes speed type running back because Najee Harris is obviously the bruiser. And you know what I'm going to do? Scary Terry's here. This is going to be the best free agency of all time. I'm going to lower it a little bit because he doesn't have a bid. And if we don't get him, I'm not too mad about it. But if we do get him, right? If we do get Scary Terry McLaurin, I'm going to move Chase Claypool out to tight end. He's obviously got the size and the physique to play there. The dude's built like a tank. So that could be what we do. I did it last um, last rebuild with the Bengals where I moved T. Higgins out to, or into, I don't know, onto tight end. So... We, oh. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Bro, that is pain. And we might not even get Scary Terry now. I was envisioning this could be the best, um, the best free agency of all time. But now it's taken kind of a south turn. How did we not get Quentin Nelson? You guys, did you guys see how much I offered that man? That's crazy for him to turn down that amount of money. Bryce Callahan, we're still number one there. So we should be good. But yeah, Terry, Terry's got to save us here. Please, McLaurin. Please, McLaurin, McLaurin, and Bryce Callahan. Okay, those are big. I think I'm going to try to go sprinkle a little some some in some other positions just to uh, to be deep in our roster. Uh, yeah, Young Way Koo, there's not really too much left in free agency. <laughs> However, it is now the moment of truth. The NFL Draft. This is where we change our team around from what it was last season. We have pick number eight in the class. Tell me the Heisman winner is a quarterback. Please tell me there's at least... Why is this a thing? But you know what? That's okay. Let's just go to it. Tony Jeffers, Ohio State quarterback, is number one, but he's a late first round talent. I'm wondering if there's anybody better than that. There's four. There's four of us. Charles Cummings is a late first rounder as well. Brandon Price here out of South Carolina. Also late first. Max Scott, could he do it out of Miami? They're all late first. Okay. Oh, Brent Cooper, third round out of Ole Miss. Late first, dude, I might just go him later on, you know. This class is sick. I got these two QBs here. This guy's going in the third round we saw, and then Max Scott was in the second round. These are the two guys that I'm looking forward to. And then with our number eight pick in the first round, we got Larry Allenson, who's a early first. This Clemens dude, a cornerback, looks really good as well. Early first round talent. And then this guy, 7.7 .7 combine grade. Look at it, early first. He looks insane as well. DeAndre Lawa. Maybe I move him to middle linebacker. Who knows? Because we did lose Schobert. This guy's also early first. And then there's also this middle linebacker I can get. That's projected early second round. Who's an early first round talent too? This this class is sick. Hold up. I didn't even mention Darren Fulton, who's an early first too. And he skipped the combine. Dude's a baller. Number eight pick here is either Larry Allison here, who just does look really good, man. We do need some help at defensive line. I can move to it inside or Hayward. But this love, this Lowell guy, man, I could move Terrell Edmonds to middle linebacker too. That would work out fine. This guy, I mean, he just looks like too good to pass up. And last season, I didn't do that with um, the Emmanuel Bass, dude. He ended up being superstar. Wish I took him now. Lowell, I'm taking him, baby. He just looks way too good. And he's hitting, and he's 80 overall. I think that's my first 80 I've ever drafted. Oh my goodness, rank number one in the class to be expected. Yeah. There's no way we turn down this guy, bro. 96 speed, 76 zone as well. Holy, this is the best player I think I may have ever have. And it honestly ends up what development trade he could end up being. If he's superstar or more, this could be a banger. Okay, I'm going to trade down with the Broncos here. We're getting a second round pick. It's only four picks below us. And then a 2023 fourth round pick as well. And then I'm going to use those to trade back up in the uh, in the second round here. Because I want to get that quarterback. But I also want to get this uh, this cornerback as well. Like this guy just looks unbelievable, man. I got to go in. And then I'm going to use that draft capital to get that quarterback in just one moment here. But Darren Fulton is another 80. Oh my god. I knew he was too good, bro. Oh my, number two in the class. And hidden development. That's insane. Oh, 82 man, 81 zone, 93 speed. Oh my goodness. That is, we just, our defense is going to be a nightmare for teams, bro. Which means I'll throw in a future fifth round pick and that should be good. Trading's accepted. We have moved up to number 47, which is like two, three spots away. And now I can get that quarterback. Hopefully he's as crazy as those first two guys, man. Crossing my fingers. I'm praying, man. I would take this guy being hidden than those other guys being 80 overall because we need our franchise guy. Big Ben's gone. Mason Rudolph slash Andy Dalton, wasn't it? Brent Cooper out of Ole Miss. Talk to me. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, okay. 
so he's only normal. However, our team is ridiculous. Remember, we just added in Terry McLaurin. Chase Claypool is going to be a tight end. Najee Harris looks like one of the best running backs in the league. And this defense is the best in the league. Brent Cooper, my guy, you have everything surrounding you to be a top, top elite quarterback. It's all up to you, my guy. That could be one of my best drafts ever. I know I didn't get a lot of players, right? And we only got two hiddens, but... These two guys are the first 80 overall guys I've ever drafted. That's crazy. We also got a new franchise quarterback. I wish he was hidden, but these two guys have me like ecstatic. Tony Jeffers did end up going number. He's actually only normal. Okay, these quarterbacks are kind of weird, you know. Really weird. Who could I have went with? It was the Allison dude. Where did he go? He actually went number 12 to the Broncos, who we later on traded with. He is hidden development to be expected. And Larry Allison is only star. Okay, I'm not mad about that. We got an 80 overall dude, and he's hidden as well. And he can't be worse than star. Let's sort of by rating here. I also want to check out the um the other middle linebacker as well. As of course, we got the two top dudes. I'm still just in awe that we did that. Here he is. Devin Davidson went at 29, and he is hidden development as well. Of course, if I wasn't to go with that safety i would have went davidson 100 percent but hey he is hidden and uh, he isn't 80 overall though i'll tell you that right now as i smack my mic he's only star two max cooper was the other quarterback that i had on my draft board remember he is he's only normal too yeah the quarterbacks are weird but everything else seems to be like insane bro year number three this is the season where we can start making noise man 86 overall 85 offense and an 88 defense brent cooper my guy you're unfortunately only normal but you have arguably one of the best teams to be surrounded by. Najee's a 91. We have Scary Terry McLaurin now. He's pretty good. Deontay Johnson, Juju Smith-Schuster. Chase Claypool is an 89 rated tight end. I don't know what he was before, but that's crazy. And that's amazing. And I also still don't have a left tackle. I'm going to move this green guy to left tackle because literally why not? <laughs> and he is a 72 there. So it's not it's not a bad looking O-line at all. Four stars here. You can't complain with that defensively though. I did move Terrell Edmonds into middle linebacker. He's an 81 there so our guy doubt lowell can start at an 80 overall and we also got fulton who actually is going to be my number my number two right out right out the gate here bryce callahan we did sign so that's amazing i still defensive tackle does not look too hot i'm not gonna lie with this mason guy i wish i could have got whoever i was trying to go for brian burns could you imagine we had brian burns on this team right now bro deontay johnson in the slot um you know what? I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make it juju. Put him where he's best. We got full in that slot. I also moved these around. Highsmith here, TJ Wall, of course, and then these two at rush defensive tackle. Devin Bush, Terrell Edmonds, sub linebacker. This oh, I need to change playbooks. I need to change playbooks. Change these to the higher percentages. And I'm gonna try the offensive playbook of the Chiefs. A lot of you guys have leave, left that down in the comments below, so I'll try it out. Defensively, I don't know what's the wave yet. I'm gonna try out the Bears because the Bears playbook in the 3-4 was really good for me in my first realistic rebuild. If you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out with Justin Fields and the Bears. It was pretty decent, so I'm gonna try that out and let's see what we can do, man. This team looks really good, but obviously, it all comes down to Brent, bro. Four and three. We're four and three i mean it's, it's not bad right not oh i need to change i need to uh use some staff points as well four and three instant bad we're second in the division it's a tough tough division no doubt about that but yeah let me go let me go use these staff points i'm gonna do this slow ratings regression for one season i'm gonna put that on right defensive end for our boy of course cameron hayward he is getting a little up there now but let's slow down that regression a little bit and this Oh, we got to go. We got to go check out our boys after this. I am going to put this on everything on the offensive side of the ball here. But now let's go check out some of our hidden guys. Remember that 82 in the first season? That guy was only star. So, I'm. oh my God, I'm kind of scared what these guys can be. I'm praying for just superstar up. If they are both superstar up, I would be so happy, bro. This guy's an... Okay, 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 okay. So, the safety is only a star. The guy we went with in the first round at number eight, right? The guy in the second round is a superstar x-factor he's my number one right away that's insane chase claypool the 90 rated tight end is here bryce callahan avante maddox no one really too crazy besides claypool of course and he's a uh, hundred percent want to bring him back dude a 90 rated tight end he is that's sick and he kind of wants less money as well because of his position let's give him the deal he should be able to join back he is he's a 90 rated that's sick i've said it like five times kevin Dotson wants a pretty cheap deal himself he's an 81 only 26 year old and he wants more money mm, alex highsmith is developing kind of nicely not gonna lie i'm gonna offer him this deal he's happy we get it done he hasn't meant anything too crazy i should i wish i started him in year number one 
But obviously, Melvin Ingram went crazy that year as well, and we had Big Ben. I wish I had Joe Schobert that season. That's all me for forgetting, bro. I actually am so mad I forgot about that. But that's all we're going to do for now. I'm not going to go check out the stats or anything. We're just going to let it ride till the end of the season and see if we can make it back to the playoffs. This team should be good enough, but of course, that rookie QB. It comes down to him at the end of the day, which is the same thing I said going to midseason. Oh, we just went 13-4. We just went 13-4. We're 91s across the board. We just went 13-4. and four. I'm going to the teams. I believe we had a bye week as well. Holy, dude. We had a terrible... Not terrible. We had a okay first half, second half. Oh, my goodness. One win. Dude, we were putting up 50 bombs. You see this? 45, 45, 51. Dude, we... 41, 30. Dude, we averaged like 37 points. What the heck? That is insane, bro. Let's go check out the top... Hey, by the way, don't mind this mess. As you know from my last video, I just got a new PC. So there is stuff all over the place. Do you guys see the passing leaders? Do you guys see the passing leaders? Oh my goodness, Brent Cooper just put up 5,500 yards and 62 touchdowns in year number one. Hey, Chiefs playbook it. Chiefs, shout out to everyone that let me know in the comments below. Oh my god, 62 touchdowns. That's a record, yeah? Holy, Christian McCaffrey at 28, by the way. <laughs> my, where's Najee, bro? Juju. Juju in the slot. That's all I needed to do. Oh my goodness, Juju in the slot. 1650 yards and 20 touchdowns. Oh, TJ Watt, 24 sacks. I've done it. I figured it out. I figured it out. And Brian Burns had 21 as well. Imagine we had him on this team. Casey Thomas leads the way for interceptions. Our, our pick in year number one. Dude, we're, we're getting everything. Oh my god. That's insane. That's actually insane. Offensively, number one, 7,500 yards. Oh, defensively, 10th. Okay, could be better. Could be better. But offensively, we were historic and it all started with Brett Cooper. Oh my, I've never seen, I've never seen anyone put up 62 touchdowns in my life. Especially, especially, um, what was he, like a 73 rated normal quarterback that we got trading up in the second round. I am in awe. That is unbelievable, dude. How, are you actually kidding me? Six touchdowns, zero interceptions. He literally was averaging like four and a half touchdowns per game, bro. That... <laughs> I, I, I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless of what, of the, I, that, I'm speechless. Like I said, <laughs> Najee Harris, how'd you do my guy? Okay, a little step down from last season, but he, he's okay with that. He's okay with taking a step back and letting the offense shine like it did. And you know, he was still a threat. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Three, a thousand yard receivers, two people over 1300. Oh my goodness. Juju in the slot. Jesus, the Kansas City playbooks, bro. Terry McLaurin had an amazing season. Claypool at tight end broke a thousand and double digit touchdowns. Najee Harris, Deontay Johnson. <laughs> bro, I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. Oh my god. Yeah, we already saw this, but it's 24 and a half sacks. That's the record, right? Him and Vaughn Miller just both broke it in the same season. A ton of TFLs for Tewitt and Cameron Hayward and TJ Watt, of course, himself. Alex Highsmith, only four and a half sacks, but it's okay. It's okay. TJ Wide, 24 and a half sacks. 24 and a half sacks. I literally can't talk, bro. Oh my goodness. Six for Casey Thomas, three for Bush, two for Edmonds and Minka. Jesus. And in the next round, we got the. The 6 and 11 Texans made the playoffs? I'm not gonna lie, it just took me like nine minutes to find where the um where the standings were, dude. I did not know where they were. You just had to press X on it. I'm very confused. The Texans just made the playoffs and they were six and eleven. What? <laughs> what? Just just the worst division of all time. The Jaguars, who were in the Super Bowl in year one, have just trended downwards, I guess. And the Colts and Titans, same thing. That I've that is what is going on this year, bro? <laughs> Weather the storm, yada yada yada, beat the Texans, bro. Is there a playoff blizzard in every playoff game we play? <laughs> like that is the only message we see. Um I'm almost nearing just not even pressing it anymore. Okay, though, back to this. I mean, by the way, Deshaun Watson's a star. How do you guys feel about that? I know everything going on with him in real life. Weird, but he still was like an MVP level last season. For sure, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Kind of wild. Can we can we win, though? Tw barely won. 28-26. Next, we've got the Denver Broncos. He went 12-5. and I remember making a trade with them. I'm going to get this out the way, man. We got like we, we literally got like five staff points from that. I mean, cool. Okay, they go 12-5. and five. If we can make it here... This could, and we like win the Super Bowl. This could be literally the best season I have ever had in any one of my rebuilds. Because uh, those are the craziest stats I've ever seen. But 
we win 35-14. We're playing the Buccaneers in the Super Bowl. My team ranks number one. I didn't go over this, by the way, in previous years, but I'll do it now. Number one in offensive points per game. Pass yards, number one. And then everything else is a little all over the place. Defensive pass yards per game, number three, though. So we'll take those for sure, bro. <laughs> we made the Super Bowl in year number three in Brent's first season as well. I am just, <laughs> they go 10 and 7, Super Bowl Media Day, view yearly awards, dude, surely Brent wins MVP, right? Get the running back cheese out of here, stop it, stop it, bro, stop it, there's just, there's just no way, this has gone overboard, because there's no way Brent Cooper does not win MVP, bro, he did win Offensive Player of the Year, though, can he go up more than once, TJ Watt, of course, like, could he go up to Superstar or something? Because, like, dude, that, that season alone, here's the middle linebacker, by the way, that season alone deserves X-Factor. Let's be real. That is the craziest season ever. Oh, Najee number three now. Yeah, he wasn't too great, but Juju maybe can go up to Superstar McLaurin number three as well. O-line, did we have anyone finally in the O-line? Nick Lucas is already star, though, so he's not going to get upgraded. Brian Bird, you could have been on this team, my guy. DJ Watt, of course, best DB. Casey Thomas. Casey Thomas, could he go up as well? Dude, oh my goodness. Development traits. Cooper obviously to whatever juju as well claypool maybe even okay he does only go up to that's oh mclaurin went up to everybody went up oh my gosh mclaurin went up to x factor juju went up to um superstar and brent cooper has five five upgrade points but he only goes up to star i know that's how it works but dude i mean did you see that season that has x factor written all over it defensively don't think we got anybody over here. Thomas doesn't go up, bro. If he would have went up to Superstar, that would have been amazing. But he is an 86, so I'll take that all day. Fulton. Fulton, the Superstar X-Factor cornerback. Amazing stuff, man. Let's go ahead and upgrade our boy Cooper. What does he even need to work on, dude? That is the best season I have ever seen. He's a field general right now, which isn't the scheme fit. What does he need to work on, though? Accuracy. Phenomenal. He needs to work on his throw power, play action a little bit under pressure. I'll see what I can do. And the last one here, I did strong arm every single time. This should be throw power. No, it's throw medium accuracy. If it was only one, I thought it would have been throw power. You know what I mean? But his ratings are now looking like this. I did not get one throw power now that I'm realizing. Really? <laughs> Three years in now, this Buccaneers team could be looking a little different. So let's go ahead and go check it out. Tristan Warfs is a 99. You'll love to see that. That's really cool. They have JJ Watt. Wow. He's looking to get himself that long awaited ring. But who is their quarterback? Because they don't. Were we gonna get this guy or like make a move up for this guy, Eugene James? Oh, he's going against. He's going. I, I'm so happy I didn't get him though. And we got Brent Cooper, but wow, that's interesting. Okay, so we got two auto-generated dudes going head to head. I love it. Obviously, their team is stacked as ever. They pretty much got their core. And this guy now, who is this guy? But our team is looking just as good, man. Let's get into it. We are in this rebuild. Has gone from zero to 100, literally so quick. You guys know the super vibes. 10 minute quarters. We go quarter by quarter, and then in the fourth quarter, we go ahead and jump in, watch the simulation, and it ends in. 7-3 in the first quarter there they get the only touchdown it is six to seven now they get another touchdown though we're gonna need to put a touchdown on the board if we want to make some noise and we do and we do not go for two which is kind of interesting there but we're down one point to end out the first half here third quarter on its way we have the ball they have the ball they score a field goal we have the ball in the 25 let's get into it and we're we're kicking a field goal all right well <laughs> and that is why san young way coo here we go though our first look at our team and this eugene james guy as well who could have been who could have very well been my quarterback first pass for him nothing too special he's got two touchdowns one interception 150 yards not having a bad game himself but ooh, we got a close one man i'm excited for this change the zoom whoa 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 you can zoom in and stuff no, you can't. I don't know. Why did that just pop up my screen? I don't know. What a tackle. Oh my. Which now makes it a third and four. Okay. Chris Godwin actually has a ton of stats right now. Can we get a sack? Yes. Oh my God. Fumble. Somebody get the ball. Somebody get the ball. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, baby. And now we're on the 25 in great field position. And we get to see the, the MVP. I'm calling him the MVP, bro. There's no way he wasn't. He, oh, 280 yards. Only one touchdown, though. Obviously, only one touchdown, though. And it's... Make it two. Make it two. Oh my goodness. That's Deontay Johnson, I believe. It's a touchdown. We take the lead and we should go for two here if I'm not mistaken. And we do. Here we go. 17-22 right now. Brent Cooper is the real deal. Rookie season, bro. Just Najee, Najee, Najee. That works too. That, it, I don't got to tell this guy what to do, man. <laughs> here we go. Can our defense come through once again? Oh, that should have been a pick. I think that was Bryce Callahan. 
That should have been a pick, bro. That should have been a pick. That would have been electric. The momentum shift in this Super Bowl. Eugene James is feeling it. He's feeling the heat from this defense. Somebody get that man. And ma Oh, my God. Okay, well, that scramble hurt a little bit. I'm not even going to lie, but that's okay. I still trust her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's the... He dropped it. Oh, my God. Yo, oh my good. I thought he caught that. I was just in shock. Jesus, he just threw literally like a 60-yard bomb. That was a dart too, not even gonna lie. Okay, completes another reset. Dude, I can't take my, I can't breathe in this Super Bowl. My goodness, it is so action-packed. It's only been two and a half minutes so far, but we got some high-powered off of offenses as well as defenses, and that makes for a great Oh, we could have had another pick. Oh, yeah, okay. Tough position to be in, not gonna lie, but we're feeding... He had so much room. He literally had so much room on the outside, and he ran inside where every single player was. I mean, okay, but now it's a third and five on the seven. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here, because if we punt... Yes, sir, Najee Harris again. Let's go. What an animal. Big handoff to Najee. I love it. Brent Cooper, he's taking it himself. Oh! <laughs> Bro. Who is this guy? I can't believe what I'm watching right now. Oh! Najee! Najee! Oh, no! Bro, you remember the first year where I said he had zero touchdowns because he keeps the ball? Zero fumbles as well. You know Najee's a beast. He ain't losing the ball at all. Oh, Najee. Yo, like, what is going on in this Super Bowl? This has been insane. Oh, my goodness. Pollard has three rushes for negative one yards. Why is he in? I know Najee just fumbled, but that's no reason. Let's build up his confidence again, man. Oh my goodness. Tie game, third and 13 now. Not not good, but Brent Cooper is the man that could do a lot of things, and it's that's not the thing we wanted. Punted for 71. Wait, well, what? I skipped it. I'm not going to lie. I always skip the punts, but we just pinned them. Oh my. Yo, and with this defense, somebody get a safety. Some if we get a safety here, then that, no, no, no. There's a there's a gap. Not gonna lie. Okay, he actually. Who who was this guy? Tie game. Under three minutes to go. This one is electric. Here we go. Here we go. Can he? Can we give it a fumble? Okay. I will take the sack all day long. I will take the sack all day long. Stefan to it. Two sacks for him on the day. You love to see it. And now that brings us to a third and eleven. We need to clamp up on this stop, and we can have the game-winning drive by none other than Brent Cooper himself. Bro, come on. We need to stop here, boys. It's another sack. Let's go. Shout out to Alex Highsmith, baby. Here we go, boys. Minute and forty to go on the thirty on their thirty-five too, because we pinned them pretty much. Oh, we're we're good. Oh, low key, we good. We're already in field goal range, right? Yeah. Let's just run the let's just run the ball out. Oh my! I didn't even realize. Honestly, we're good. Second and four. Feed Najee again. Just don't fumble, Najee. Okay. We do need this first down though, so we can get the we can get the clock ticking. You know what I mean? I guess they got timeouts, but you know what I mean though, right? Najee, Najee. Oh, we actually we actually really needed that first down. Like it's a guaranteed three points because we got our boy Young Way Koo, but. They have a minute to drive down themselves and potentially get a field goal and even maybe seven points, but our defense looks unstoppable. So I would happily put all of my faith into their hands because this defense is impeccable, man. And it's... How was that not a sack? Someone, get him! Someone tackle! What are you doing? Like, worst part about that was that he got out of bounds, too. We could have tackled him at least in bounds and that would have been fine. Oh! <laughs> the Fulton, the rookie. I'm done. This is, this is the best season I've ever had. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I said I was putting all my faith in the defense and you guys just saw why, man. You guys just saw why. Victory formation, Brent Cooper, you're number one, 62 touchdowns. Why are you using timeouts? Because you know this game is over and I accidentally just hit exit. Whatever, I'll just go to jump to next play. It's over. It's over. <laughs> oh my god. That that just capped off one of the craziest seasons I have ever seen, bro. We just won the Super Bowl year number three. We got some more seasons to go. I need to see what we are building here in Pittsburgh because this is a dynasty if I've ever seen it, bro. This is unreal. Our boy Brent Cooper absolutely outplayed Eugene James, dude. Oh, my, this guy is just 27 for 35. 
Two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Completely outplayed Eugene, man. Rushing-wise, Najee was I three a carry. Not great, to be honest with you, but he was just killing time at the end. There was Sony Michelle was really good, though, to be fair. Receiving-wise, Godwin had seven receptions for 48, and McLaurin had seven for 100. Yes, sir, Scary Terry tied in. Chase Claypool was a beast. Same with Juju. Deontay Johnson, we saw, got the touchdown and the two-point conversion that were both vital in our game. And Tony Pollard had a touchdown, too. Nick, Nick, Nick Needham leads the way for tackles made, okay? Four tackle for losses for Shaq Barrett. J.J. Watt still doesn't get a ring for himself, unfortunately, but he, he came against a beast today, man. Stephon it. T.J. Watt, Alex Highsmith, who we saw had that sack. Cam Hayward as well, man. Interceptions. Darren Fulton and Terrell Edmonds, my guy. We win. Witnessed both of them, right? No. We witnessed Fulton and we saw a forced fumble. Unreal. Unreal way to end off this season. Super Bowl MVP. I, in my opinion, it can only go to one man and it does. Brent Cooper, bro. Brent Cooper. MVP of the season as well. And Super Bowl MVP. Oh my god. <laughs> Players ready to renegotiate. I remember uh, Kevin Dawson. I'm not gonna lie. I want to bring back everyone. I want to bring back everyone, bro. That was the coolest. Oh, my God. He wants. Oh, my God. He wants so much money. I'm going to give him 16 and a half for a two-year deal. Will he accept? Okay, he's good. So, you don't have to pay him what they want, but, like, just, just put it up a little bit. Okay, these three, I think I'm going to let walk for right now, but I will try to sign them in free agency if there aren't any better options. But the team morale, the team chemistry with that squad we just had is through the roof. And, like, we got 45 mil to spend here. We have a rookie quarterback with that rookie contract, I meant to say, but... Stephon Gilmore. <laughs> Can you imagine we brought in Stephon Gilmore? Michael Onwenu is a guy we could play at left tackle, bro. He went up to star too, which is awesome to see. All right. Yeah, there's actually nobody really here. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to get Gilmore. Or no, no, no. I'm going to get Onwenu, and then I'm going to try to get those three guys that you guys saw earlier. Onwenu, I'm bumping it up a lot, man. He's asking for 36.4. I'm giving him 40. 40 mil, Michael Onwenu. How do you turn that down? He's a scheme fit as well, so he's going to get the extra boost. How much did the Patriots? <laughs> no, Avante Maddox has a bid from the. Why does Avante Maddox has a have a bid out of everyone? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I want him back though. Honestly, I want to run it back with that team, man. Can we be in front? Okay, we're in front by a good margin. And then went in for Bryce Callahan and Trey Turner, of course, as well. And they are all here. Michael Onwenu did reject us, but that's fine. Honestly, in free agency, do I want to do anything else? Is there there really wasn't anybody there besides on Wenu and I guess Gilmore that would have been cool. But yeah, like Justin Tucker and Johnny Hecker are the ones lead headlining the free agency. <laughs> Go ahead and spend some of these staff points. This one player personnel talents cost 20% less. Love that. Yeah, I'm just gonna put them, I'm gonna put everything on this page with staff modifications. Everything for the offensive coordinator here. Oh wait, you can do both. I'll do both of them. Then. I'm keeping TJ Watt happy, alright? <laughs> Start the NFL draft. You know what pick we got, baby. You already know high is there gonna be one this year? Okay, is there like a new way to check out what the Heisman is? Like, what? What do I even need, bro? I need like subscribers if you're new here and you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Subscribe, especially if you just watched that season, bro. Are you kidding me? All right, draft doesn't actually look too bad, but let me show you guys something real quick. These two guys right here are both early first round talents. We still are in need for that defensive tackle position. So I think I'm going to trade up for either one of them. They're both projected early second round. So I'm going to trade up to like... 24. Fourth round pick should do this. And yes, it is kind of a tricky situation. Uh, just jumping up like this to 24 and not waiting to see if he's still there. So risk I'm willing to take. Pick 24 and they are both still here. Now it's which one do I want? <laughs> I think it's for Cam McAllister. I think it is. I don't have to change his position or anything. Early first round talent. He looks unbelievable, bro. He really does. And you're telling me he's a hidden dev- ah! Oh. <laughs> That's pain. Second round pick. The only guy I have that's like high up here is James Rankin. He's a mid second round. He actually looks really good, to be honest, with the combine and everything. Get on the team. My guy, bang. He is hidden development. Let's go. 72 overall. And he's ranked 49 in the class. That just shows you how highly rated these classes are. And it's great to see because that's how the draft really is in real life. This guy can contribute a little bit next season, hopefully. Welcome. Not a bad draft at all. We're obviously coming off a Super Bowl, so I can't be too upset with what we get. But this guy's hidden. I, I sim the rest of the draft after what I showed you guys. And then this guy later on, 70 overall. Only normal. Only one guy in mind, though. And it's the guy that I couldn't go with. What was here right end i believe he was it was this guy right eddie culliver went number one in the second round i actually could have got him originally that of course of course literally could have stayed at 32 and got this hidden development guy eddie culliver 
is star. It's better than our guy, though. So your reigning Super Bowl champions going into your number four are an 89 overall squad. Now 89 offense, 91 defense. We pretty much kept the team attack. Everything remains the same, and I'm not touching any of the schemes or playbooks because it worked to a T last season, bro. Ranking, though, hidden development, so shout out to him. We got Callahan back. This Fulton guy had that crazy diving interception in the Super Bowl. The team's pretty much the same. Nothing really to see here, and they, they actually... They actually did this for me, so I appreciate you guys a lot. Hayward and Tewitt, by the way, are getting absolutely decimated at rating. Should I keep Deontay Johnson in the slot? I think I think I will. I think I will. I was tempted to put Terry there, but let's have Deontay Johnson go crazy. Of course, I hyped him up at the beginning, and now with this sudden playbook change, I'm, I'm sure he can do something crazy with it. Midseason, our team, man, our team. Six and one. We're literally six and one. My goodness, dude. <laughs> this is this is so sick. This is so sick. I'm not gonna check out any of the stats just yet. The only thing I'm gonna do right now is just look for contracts. To be honest with you, I'm trying to skim through this because we're gonna make Super Bowl again. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We're literally so good, bro. This is oh, Najee's here. To it, Hayward. Oh, these guys are so old now. 31. Actually, to it's not that bad, but Hayward's 35 now, man. Najee, let's bump it up for my boy there. He's been a beast throughout this entire rebuild he's happy to stay to it i will offer a two-year deal because he's only 31 which is honestly not too old at all and he's still an 89 so he's still elite cameron hayward though that's too old bryce callahan also too old especially for the position he plays i think i'm gonna hold off for everyone even pat frymouth because he's even the second string nowadays so yeah nobody else to really bring back there i think I think I just go to uh, the playoffs. Actually, week seven is our only loss. So they, I didn't even have to go check out the schedule. 38-24 there. We lose. Yeah, I'm going straight to the playoffs. I want to go there right now. I want to check out our stats at the end of the season. I want to see everything. And hopefully, it's a repeat of what happened last year. 14-3, and three, bro. This... <laughs> Oh my god. Literally just crazy, man. Of course, we did see that Ravens um, loss in the first half of the season there. We won a ton of games here. Cowboys beat us by three points there. And then the Ravens again. The Ravens swept us. 35-17 again. Okay. You already know what we're checking now, though. The top performers. Pat Ian Book. Ian Book just led the league in yards. What? Brent Cooper. Not as crazy as last season. Definitely. Maybe it was Juju in the slot. I don't know. But overall, still a phenomenal season for him. Zeke, McCaffrey, Chubb, Najee. I just want to see Najee in there one, one time, bro. Hey, Deontay Johnson was actually number three, though, for receiving leaders. But Jacoby Myers was number one. Really? TJ Watt, where you at? TJ Watt? What? Interception. That goes to Joey Bosa, by the way. Jonathan Jones leads uh, interceptions. Actually, Traverius Ward and Keith Shea, whoever that is. <laughs> and then Chris Barn leads the way for tackles. Stats-wise, offensively, we were still number one in the league, though. So how can I ever complain about that at all? Defensively, number one as well. Oh, that's better than last season. And last season, we were pretty good. Brent Cooper, I sounded disappointed in his season, but my goodness, this is another MVP caliber season, man. Over 5,000 yards, 46 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. He's crazy. He's literally insane. Najee broke 1,500 for the first time and also got 13 touchdowns and 5.6 a carry, which is extremely ex um, impressive, bro. Okay, Najee, Deontay did his thing. Claypool, 1,200 sought, or what? 1,200 yards in the... Not, not in the slot. At tight end. <laughs> what am I saying? Scary Terry did not bring a thousand though, really. Maybe I might... Now, nah, I'm putting Juju back, I think, next year. But yeah, those receivers are going ham with Brent Cooper under center. Hopefully, he can go up to superstar this year. Devin Bush, 138 tackles, leads the way by a long margin. Cameron Hayward, 13 sacks at 92 years. I said I said 92 like three times last video as well. I don't know why I keep referring to the age of 92 when someone's old. TJ Watt. What happened this year? Nine and a half sacks is still good, but he had 24 and a half last year. Highsmith also got himself nine interception numbers. Bang. Three for Terrell Edmonds. Two for Bush, Callahan, Lawell, Fulton, the duo, um, 80 overall rookies. We got the Bengals nine and eight in our division. Make the playoffs as the third seed. It's another playoff blizzard, and I don't care. I'm sick of these blizzards, honestly. It's probably not even snowing when you go at it, when you actually play the game. So whatever. I know we're losing out some, some, on some stuff there, but we're playing. We win 26-21. We're playing the Chargers up next. They go 10-7. and seven. We just got Burrow. Now we're playing Justin Herbert. Super Bowl. Can we get, um, no. no I was going to say Tua. That doesn't make any sense. And I jumped the gun, but we made it anyway. 17-13. We're playing the Carolina Panthers in 27-time MVP Christian McCaffrey himself. So this one should be fun. 
Is it still Sam Darnold there? That's the real question. Obviously, C-Mac is just unreal. You can see his stats there at the bottom. 2,000 yards, 20 touchdowns. They need to nerf the running back positions because it's a little bit unreal. Or they shouldn't be winning running back. Or they shouldn't be winning MVPs like this every single year. It's ridiculous. It really is. Eugene J... Where's Brent Cooper? Brent Cooper, finally. I was going to say, do we have literally nobody here? That's crazy. Derrick Henry wins best running back. Where's Najee? Number seven? Didn't he have like best, or didn't he have like 1,500 yards? Deontay Johnson is your best wide receiver though. O-line? Lucas! Lucas, the center we got in like year number one. He is getting upgraded as superstar because he finished top five and he is already star development. Shout out to Nate Coleman and Kevin Dotson too, but they're already star and they finish outside of the top five. If you guys are unaware of the online rule, I know a lot of you guys are new here. If they finish top 10 and are normal, I give them star development. If they finish top five and already have a star, I give them superstar development. And then if they finish as number one and are already superstar, I move them up to superstar X Factor. On offense, we got Brent Cooper, of course, and we got Deontay Johnson, dude. This offense is just, it's a well-oiled machine let's be real unfortunately what or i guess yeah he wasn't going to play any snaps because he was a second stringer defensively devin bush went up to superstar i believe that's awesome to see bryce callahan no he's already superstar did we not get anybody else bro i wish this thomas guy could go up or something you know let's go ahead and go check out that panther squad though because i am intrigued to see what they're rocking with they lost brian burns he could have been on our team Derek brown dj moore they have gilmore now that's cool. Jeremy Chin went up to Superstar too. That's really cool to see. Hassan Reddick, pretty much. Tommy Tremble developing. Oh, Emmanuel Bass. We could have had him, but remember we went with our center who I actually forgot to upgrade. I will go do that right after this. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, really. Jalen Hurts, McCaffrey backfield. It's kind of sick just because of like the, the run game, but I mean really it wasn't the sexiest pick at the time but nick lucas is now developing into one of the best centers in the league and now he's superstar development we are back back to back seasons we got the panthers i'm kind of excited to see what mccaffrey could do against us i'm not gonna lie but it's seven to seven we've got a high scoring first half or no first quarter here two touchdowns for each or one okay i'm gonna stop talking i don't know 14 to 10 now to round out the end of the first half can we get another touchdown we do i was gonna i was on the verge of saying field goal but i gave it a little more time and we ended up getting the touchdown and it is a tie game it is not a tie game 24 21 up three points and 24 21 entering the fourth quarter jalen hurts is scrambling of course he is can we get a tackle on him and get a fumble maybe get a fumble maybe okay. however we now got him to a third and 60 you know this defense man it's impeccable it's impeccable of course i jinx i live it. also i wonder where sam darnold is obviously the experiment here in carolina did not work out at all but jalen hurts looks like he's doing his thing here now as he script what somebody, somebody attack him yes sir tj now brings us to a third and 13 we hold him to a field goal here i'll be fine with that it'll be a tie game that is okay because i trust our team our offense and could can we get up could we get a takeaway though how does he not fumble they did get the field goal tying the game at 24 all but it is uh now third and six for us we're not doing too much here on this offensive drive um brent cooper when i need you the most my guy he's got time in the oh, he's got too much time what are you doing brent third inches third and inches actually third and inches and there's no way they go for this even if we um even if we get a stop here because they're just too close to their end zone however they have the mvp for a gain of zero yards there jalen hurts scrambling to the left oh my goodness dude is he ever gonna fumble okay i did not realize the time was ticking like that there, that was a two minute warning we're at the two minute warning already we need to stop here we cannot let them get in field goal range at all that's a good start though however it is a third and four in the middle of the field we need a stop here somebody st somebody hit stick him please oh my no well this is not good um we got three timeouts but they do have the mvp we need a stop on him that's not a good one that's not a good one come on baby come on we just need one mm. you know what you know what i'm low-key fine with that because he not only he went out of bounds but you know it saves us uh it saves us the timeout and he's gonna He's going to reach it. Okay, he got this, he gets a touchdown. You know what? I'm not too mad about that because it does give us a chance now. You know what I mean? Like, they could have very well just, like, kneeled it out or just kept running the ball, running the timeout, and then just kick a field goal with, like, three seconds left, you know? But this now gives us the chance to at least tie the game up and go to overtime. Terry McLaurin with the stiff arm. Come on, baby. Let's drive down. Clock is ticking, though. 41 seconds to go. Brent, 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 Brent. Yes, good completion timeout. We need a timeout here. No? 
No timeout? Okay. No, oh, this is still a thing in Madden 22. The classic no huddle, and then you call a timeout after and just waste like 12 seconds that are just so valuable to us right now. What a throw. Deontay Johnson gets out of bounds as well. That's big time. We might witness we might witness something crazy here. I'm not going to lie. Brent Cooper, another great reception. We're driving down, you know, but of course, this is the hardest part. This is the hardest area to score, especially um, with these circumstances. We're on the 28 here. No timeouts remaining. We got to go. Brent Cooper. Brent Cooper, don't get sacked. You cannot Brent. get sacked. You can... All around me are familiar faces. Worn out. It's bass. Oh. <laughs> we lose it. We lose it when you're number two. Not you're number two. You're number four, but second two, bro. You know what I mean? Brent Cooper, three touchdowns, one interception is unfortunate, but he still had a really good game with 300 yards as well. Jalen Hurts didn't do too much in the air, but he did have one touchdown and no interceptions. But McCaffrey was just mm, Christian McCaffrey, man, I swear. And Jalen Hurts, that as we saw, killed us on the ground as well. Yeah, that, that duo would be quite terrifying to play up against and to scheme up against, you know. Juju, Claypool, Deontay Johnson was good. McLaurin was phenomenal. Oh my goodness, they have Cooper Cup now. It's pretty cool. Hassan Reddick had three sacks. Wow, wow. Highsmith, two. Hayward, one. TJ Watt, Derek Brown, and then to it. Man, oh, the interception went to Stephon Gilmore. We could have signed him potentially, but... He got, he got that he got the best end of us, I guess. Super Bowl MVP went to the MVP, Christian McCaffrey. This guy's just unreal. Just using up all my staff points here, I totally forgot about Smooth Talker. I literally traded up last season and just didn't buy this. It reduces the, what did I just click? It reduces the uh, cost of trading up in the draft, and I, that's what I did last season. I didn't do it. Cam Hayward, Bryce Callahan, Trey Turner. I'm sorry, my guys, but I'm, I'm going to have to let you go, man. It's been a good run. Kendrick Green's actually 26 and 80. I think I'm going to wait for free agency, so though, to see who we can get, if there's anybody better there. 69 mil we have to spend this season. Let's go. Aaron Dahl. That would be quite... Ooh, Panay Sewell's huge. Oh, we're getting the rookies here now. Whoa, really? Okay, yo, I want Aaron Donald. I want Panay Sewell. Aaron Donald, my guy, a player of your caliber cannot retire ringless and if you come to pittsburgh i'm telling you right now man if you come to pittsburgh we're getting you that ring 110 points surely bro what i low-key don't care though i know i am um, i messed up with some of like the contract stuff in the staff points like, i could have done that to get discounts and stuff i get that that's my fault but i'm just gonna offer him literally everything <laughs> it's a one-year deal aaron donald you better join us because low-key um other times where we have overbid like that it hasn't worked out i don't know why okay so i'm doing the same thing bro i'm giving you so much money so you better join us okay he's an 88 he would be an amazing an amazing replacement for the outgoing kendrick I'm I'm up <laughs> I'm giving him <laughs> I'm giving him the most ridiculous deal I've ever seen for an offensive lineman. Hundred and sixteen. Okay. Aaron Donald, as you guys all saw, hopefully we can get him. Michael Pierce as well. Cameron Hayward doesn't have a bid, so I'd like to have him back. Frymouth and Eric Stokes. Please tell me we get Aaron Donald. We got Aaron Donald! We got everybody. We actually got everybody. Let's go. George Bush. <laughs> oh, I did not expect this guy to still be here. Really? Okay, we're at pick number 31 now in the first round. I did not expect this guy to still be here at 31. He was a late first round projection. We need an offensive lineman. This is my guy 100%, right? Let me just make sure. There are some good players. Jaden Brinkley is an early first round talent, but I think we're really set on defense, especially. We need an offensive lineman after losing Kendrick Green, um, Trey Turner as well. So Sean Parrish can be that replacement here. And he is in a development. Yeah, I love it, man. I love it. 73 overall, 28 in the class. That's a good value pick. We get him. Sean Parrish. Parrish, welcome to the squad, my guy. You got beautiful, you got a beautiful offense around you. Let's just say that. We are low-key a little thin at cornerback now because we lost Callahan and Avante Maddox. But Devin Ross here is a mid-first rounder, but I think I'm gonna go with Braylon McKenzie because he's an early first. He's a projected early fourth, so I don't know if I can get him next round. I'm gonna take him right now just to be safe. Um another 80, and he's hidden. He's ranked number four. Four in the class, and he's an 80. Are you kidding me right now? That's... <laughs> oh my goodness. This video has been just insane. This guy, 96 speed, 81 man, 77 zone, 79 press. Wow. Wow. And just wow. Okay. Well, I was just drinking some water. Um, A 68 right guard went number one. Christopher Howell. He is hidden, to be fair, but I mean, is that worth it? And then an 80 rated running back at number two. Who? Is this Saquon Barkley? You rarely ever see a running back go number two, so that's pretty crazy, and he is the only star. Kind of want to go through this quick, though, so I just, I just want to see the class. Wow. 
281 overall, guys. Another running back. This guy goes to the, the Titans. I mean, Derrick Henry probably is very old now, but <laughs> wow, what a replacement that guy is. And then this guy, defensive tackle, also hidden. Wow. If I had a dollar for every time I said, wow, this video, and I'd have $93, 93 overall squad is what we are. <laughs> You stupid. 93 is across the board offensively. We got Parrish now, which is cool. And our boy Lucas went up to star superstar development. Sorry. Yeah, this team. Hopefully we can bring it home again in the um in year number five. You're probably the final season. This defensive line is uh straight up stupid. We have Aaron Donald now, Michael Pierce, Cameron Hayward's literally the second string. We have McKenzie now who's dope. Eric Stokes as well. We did lose what I say, Callahan and whoever else it was. This team is still amazing. I already fixed up the specialist, by the way. Juju's back in the slot. Hopefully, um Brent can throw for 70 touchdowns. Najee here again. And uh, Aaron Donald, I'm playing him at right. I'm sorry, Hi Smith. I really am wherever he's not even here. We got Rankin, the guy we got last year. But yeah, Aaron Donald's here. They, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to say. This team's insane. We went 14-3 last season, but came a jump short. This season, I want to go 17-0, and and I want to go 20-0, including the playoffs. Come on, baby. You know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going, I'm going straight to the playoffs. We don't got time to waste this season, baby. That's my best record yet. Wow. That is actually the best record I've ever. Look at the points we are putting up. Oh my good. What did we lose? 50. Dude. This is the crit. Oh, oh, we lost in week 18 by three points. No. And to the bank, dude. We legit just averaged like 48 points. <laughs> but now for the stat leaders on the right side here. Brent Cooper leads the way. Not quite the 70 touchdowns I was asking for. For, but still an amazing dude this guy this guy right here is just something else and Christian McCaffrey also has two people rushed over 2,000 yards there Nick Chubb as well as McCaffrey Juju back in the slot bro that is just just good Juju I guess you could say 22 touchdowns and 1700 yards for him Frank Clark just had 25 sacks how old is Frank Clark in this rebuild nowadays? Oh my goodness. He just broke the record. JC Jackson, six interceptions. Remember when we tried to sign him in like year number one? Sertan, number five there. That's pretty cool to see. And then Jerome Baker leads the way for tackles. Offensively, number one. Again, 8,000 total yards we racked up. And then six in defensive yards. I believe last year we were first in both, but this season we're 16 and one. Oh my god. <laughs> 5,661 yards, 58 touchdowns, six six interceptions that is the best ratio i've ever seen if someone put that under a tweet i would like it not Najee 1800 yards 23 6.5 a carry oh my god Najee harris dude this is wild oh Najee harris with an mvp caliber season as well as well as juju smith schuster man 1700 yards for him 22 touchdowns mclaurin with 1225 chase claypool another thousand thousand yard season at tight end for him Najee harris might be the best um, actually no i was gonna say the best fantasy running back of all time but christian mccaffrey is um on crack let's just say that defensively Terrell Edmonds this time leads the way for tackles made sack numbers how we looking over here I saw some at the bottom there TJ Welt 14 that's cool Alex Heisman 13 um, Aaron Donald five tackle for losses six sacks Aaron Donald he getting old interception numbers looking like Braylon McKenzie at the slot I remember and Darren Fulton got four actually wait we didn't we already know what Darren Fulton is but Braylon McKenzie is We drafted two superstar X-Factor cornerbacks this video, and there were 80 overall coming out the draft. <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm just out of words to say about this rebuild, man. We better win it here in year five, bro. Oh, yeah. You see our team ranks. We averaged, is that 40.8 points per game? <laughs> oh, my. No, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost just advanced. Actually, should I just advance the Super Bowl low-key? <laughs> no, I won't do that. Let's go ahead and go to week number two where we will have the the Raiders. Nine and eight Raiders. Huh? Josh Jacobs is up to a superstar X Factor. That's pretty cool to see. However, how do you beat our team with our defense, with our offense? 42 to seven. My goodness, this team. Can we get our revenge on the Jaguars? I ain't forget about year one. I ain't forget about year one, Trevor Lawrence. We're going to give you what you deserve, buddy. Bang. 33-23. We're... 
It's a rematch. It's a rematch against the Panthers. Are you kidding? They go 15 and 2. Oh my goodness, this is absurd. Steelers Panthers is the next rivalry in sports and this guy how how he just beats me every time man defensive rig of the year braylon mckenzie bro <laughs> oh my cooper Najee finally wins it by the way juju best online nick lucas this guy's a dotson's in here as well and nate coleman wow that's three upgrades for the offensive line and i'm doing it for this super bowl man we never checked out what parish was i never checked out what parish was tj watt db Sertan, where's his picture? Last development traits here, and we could top it off with a superstar X Factor Brent Cooper, and there it is. Juju up and Najee. Everybody up to X Factor and Nick Lucas as well. You love to see it. He's literally a 99 overall. My goodness. Defensively, any upgrades over here? Mackenzie, of course, X Factor. Aaron Donald, uh, he's pretty good. Dude, how does Minka not go up this entire video? I don't know. Or even like Lawell, who's literally a 93 now. Oh my goodness. Nick Lucas, Dotson, Nate Coleman, superstar, superstar, and then X Factor him. Parrish is um star. And then Weber is the guy we drafted the other year, you guys remember. So this all line what i come up it's been we meet again carolina panthers this time we need to get our revenge and we do by scoring the first three points of the game and the first 10 with another touchdown or with a touchdown there you guys know what i mean second quarter though they actually answer right back and we answer right back 17 to 7 here to route can we get a field goal we get a field goal 20 to 7 i love it i love that first half by us we're coming out with vengeance this year oh my god we're coming out with vengeance this year this is we're getting Aaron Donald his ring. We're doing everything. We have the ball. Should I play? So I've literally only played like a handful of snaps so far on this game. Have not played that much. I see him. I literally see. Bang, Bang baby. It's over. It's over. Vince Carter, baby. It's over. What a ball by Brent himself. Brent Cooper and Terry McLaurin, bro. What a signing and what a decision that was to move Claypool at the tight end. And do all that. That's the. <laughs> I can't sim because they're gonna challenge it. Are you kidding me? It was literally in by like a mile, but yeah, I'm I'm a one and done play type guy. I'm any of that. We're not doing anything bad here. We're just gonna sim like we just got a turnover. It's we're no remorse at all this game. No remorse. They get a field goal. You can have a field goal. All right. We're driving down once again here. Oh no, we did not get a point. But you know what? Can we end it off? Can we get fifty? Oh no, I was gonna hop in. I wanted to get fifty. No. All right, whatever. 46-10. We just killed the Panthers in dramatic fashion. I had my one highlight, so I'm pretty happy myself. But my goodness, let's go. That is a wild performance we just put on. We just put on an absolute show. Brent Cooper, 26 for 43. 350 yards, two touchdowns, one of them being me. Zero interceptions. Jalen Hurts did not have a good game. Did Najee have like five touchdowns in? Because we had, what, 46 points? And he only had two. Najee had one. Derek Watt. Derek Watt had two. <laughs> you love to see it. McCaffrey was not that great. Honestly, Najee Harris was better than him this game. That's what we needed. Chase Claypool led the way. Juju. They still have Coop Cup, of course. Uh, Deontay Johnson, McLaurin, Najee Harris here as well. Pat Frymouth, sack numbers. Aaron Donald had two and he got his long awaited ring. Much deservedly so. You cannot end without a ring, AD. You really cannot. And we partnered in with TJ Watt, Stephon Tewitt, Cameron Hayward, Michael Pierce. I mean, my goodness. Interceptions. Went to Darren Fulton and Terrell Edmonds. That, dude, that's the best ending ever, man. It's we built an absolute dynasty here and as you can see Brent Cooper is your Super Bowl MVP and I'm gonna be wrapping up the video here ending it off on top and that is the that is the craziest video I think I've ever recorded that was so much fun and before I go ahead and round off the team if you guys made it here I just want to say I appreciate you guys for watching the whole thing I hope you guys enjoyed it man subscribe if you guys are new because we have content like this on the channel and go ahead and leave it a like and comment down anything you want as well but Brent Cooper Oh man, up to a 99 overall superstar X Factor now, dude. What the, what was this guy? He was a 73 normal coming out the draft and I was just like, uh, dang. And then he came out and did this <laughs> and you're number one. I mean, are you kidding me? And every single season was just, was just bonkers. Like literally look at this. I have no words for it. This guy is literally 
almost a GOAT already. <laughs> and his partner in crime, their 2021 draft pick, of course, in the first round, Najee Harris, was amazing as well. Over 1350 yards in every single season, as well as 12 touchdowns. This season, he got 24, and then he ended it off this year with 23 and 6.5 and a, a carry with his most yardage as well. Najee Harris was phenomenal, bro, and I'm super excited to see what he can do in Pittsburgh this season. Gary Terry, we brought in, and I just want to say thank you very much, Terry, for making me look good on that one play I hopped in. <laughs> Deontay Johnson, 89, superstar, and Juju Smith-Schuster became an absolute phenom when we put him back in the slot, bro. Chase Claypool at tight end. Honestly, I want to look at his stats, too. So the first season with us was not great for Claypool, man. Under 400 yards and two touchdowns, but the, he never gave up. He sticked around, kept working hard, and this is what you get when you work hard, ladies and gentlemen. He, We moved him to tight end, and he just went crazy and became literally one of the best tight ends in the league. I believe he's at 99 overall now, which is just absolutely wild. That was an amazing decision. I absolutely love doing stuff like that, too, just because, you know, it makes things more fun. Yeah, he's a 99. Oh, my goodness. That's offensive line, too. We drafted every single person on this O-line besides Kevin Dodson and then a big shout out to um, Trey Turner as well who was here for a majority of this rebuild and won us won with us I believe that year number one Super Bowl defensively Aaron Donald got himself a ring Michael Pierce but those guys were late additions man the real shout outs go to Stephon Tuitt and Cameron Hayward who were phenomenal and how about Darren Fulton who what we got in year two or three I don't really remember I just remember he did not have a combine he was an early first round talent and this guy is now the best cornerback in the entire league look at his stats dude this guy <laughs> Darren Fulton definitely changed the complexity of our team we paired him alongside Callahan and those two were so good and then McKenzie who we got this season man another x-factor and he was 80 overall coming out of the draft Casey Thomas we got in year number one I think 93 never went up to superstar unfortunately but as long as you're that hidden development I love you my guy same with Lowell Minka was Minka Minka just was chilling doing his thing you know up to a 99 casually just doing Minka Fitzpatrick type things Alex Highsmith Terrell Edmonds, we moved to middle linebacker. Love that move as well. Devin Bush and then TJ Watt was TJ Watt. But that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this, man, because it was an absolute blast to record. Like, I really had so much fun with this one, man. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video around with your friends. It really does help me grow a lot, as well as liking the video, too. That was, would mean so much in comment, whatever you want. But um, other than that, take care, everybody. Peace. I don't gotta tell this guy what to do, man.